I praise God our Father, the only true loving, living, literal God, Jehovah, and His only begotten divine Son, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. Thank you, friend, for joining me today. Thank you so much for your prayers and support for this ministry. April 12, 2024, it is the sixth day of the weekly cycle, Friday. And before I share with you today's message, I would like to invite you for a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, thank you for the preparation day. Thank you so much that you have given us the gift of life and for allowing your angels to watch over us and preserve us until today. May your people continue to be strengthened. I pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us open our Bibles today. And, um, and in the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 to 46, the King James Version Bible has this to say. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hid in a field. The which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth sell all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and, and bought it. LNG White Spirit of Prophecy, Volume 2, 1877. The original Great Controversy series, pages 251 to 253, she wrote, and I would like to quote with you today. The Savior continued his parables to the listening people, saying again, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure, hid in the field that which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly per pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. In those days, there were many who searched for treasure, which was supposed to be buried in certain localities, where great cities had once stood in a great thoroughfare of travel, where Jesus was then teaching. It was not unusual to meet persons who had come long di distances on their way to where it was supposed hidden treasure could be found. The desire for great riches led them upon a journey fraught with many per perils. They have left their avocations upon a venture that seldom proved successful. But if they secured a small treasure, they redoubled their exertions, hoping to realize still greater riches. Jesus had this class of his hearers in view. When he thus illustrated the mysterious riches of his grace, which once having attracted the heart of man, led him to seek higher attainments and greater blessings. The more he realizes of the peace of God, the more he desires to drink deeper at the fountain of his love. The thirst for righteousness, the longing and seeking for its treasures continually increase. In order to obtain a vast treasure that is supposed to be hidden in a field or a gem that is of great and unknown value, the man who is seeking for riches invests all his substance in that field or uses it to purchase the precious jewel, calculating that it will increase in value on his hands and bring him the fortune that he covets. So should a Christian who desires the riches of heaven set aside all considerations that interfere with his eternal welfare and put his soul into the work of securing the riches of Christ's love. His talents, his means, his energies should all be applied in such a way as to win the approbation of God. And Jesus directs the minds of his hearers to infinite riches, hidden where all may engage in searching for them. Sure of being successful, never doomed to the disappointment of fruitless toil, he came from heaven to direct the search. High and low, rich and poor, stand upon an equal footing, and none need seek in vain. Obedience to his will is the one condition of success, and well may the earnest seeker afford to sell all that he has to possess this blessing of divine love, the pearl 
Oh, great. Okay. Stalin G. White, Spirit of Prophecy, Volume 2, 1877, pages 251, 253. Blessed preparation day to you all. Communion service, 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, April 27, 2024. Truly appreciate your support and prayers for this ministry. Thank you so much. May God our Father, the only true God, bless you and His Son, Jesus Christ, be gracious to you. Emmanuel. Amen.